The fading of the bells of Notre Dame signalled the start of the minute silence. At midday precisely, a great city came to a standstill and for 60 silent seconds, all thoughts were of the dead, their families and of this country's future. At the Sorbonne, President Hollande and his cabinet stood at the head of a nation first in silence then raising their voices in the national anthem. At Germany's Brandenburg Gate, they stopped and stood in support of their neighbour. And in Trafalgar Square, and at the French Embassy in London. But even back at Notre Dame, the presence of soldiers among the crowd shows what's happened to Paris. Whether they want to or not, there is one overriding emotion here. We don't want to live with fear. And uh, because if we are all united, we will uh, win against these monsters. I think that it could be me, and that's a little bit, I don't know. Is that a feeling amongst your friends as well, that it could have been any of you? Yes, it could have been any of my friend or my, my sister, or I don't know, so that's very... More than 150 raids overnight by French security forces, this one in Toulouse, have led to 23 arrests and the capture of multiple weapons, including a rocket launcher. This man, Abdelhamid Abaoud, has now been named as the mastermind behind Friday's attacks, a Belgian citizen believed today to be in Syria. He illustrates the multinational nature of the terrorist threat facing France. At the Palace of Versailles this afternoon, that was a central theme of President Hollande's speech to both houses of the French Parliament. Les actes de guerre de vendredi. Friday's acts of war were conceived and planned in Syria, he said, organized in Belgium, perpetrated on our soil with French complicity. Syria has become the greatest factory for terrorism the world has ever known. Last night's airstrikes against ISIS in Syria will be just the start, he said. Le porte -avion Charles de Gaulle. The aircraft carrier Charles de Gaulle will go from Toulon to the eastern Mediterranean on Thursday, tripling our operational capacity. Vive la République et vive la France. They rewarded him with a rousing rendition of the Marseillaise. But already the opposition are resisting his plans to change the constitution to allow a three-month-long state of emergency. And late tonight in Paris, France and its leaders won unambiguous support from across the Atlantic. The United States and France were not only friends, we are family. And today the entire world joins our family in heartbreak yet again. Don't mistake what these attacks represent. This is not a clash of civilizations. These terrorists have declared war against all civilization. Tonight the Eiffel Tower is lit in the colors of the French tricolor, as it will be for three days. 129 funerals are still to come. The grieving has hardly begun. Nothing will be normal for a long time here. James Mates, News at 10, Paris.